everyone today i'm coming on to do a what's in the box video but also i was asked to i was um tagged by tammy to do a tag question and the question was why did you start collecting dolls so my answer to that is that i have sort of always collected dolls i never had many as a child but i've always sort of had one or two dolls while my children were little always had one or two when i was 40 i got my first um ashton drake um baby emily doll i just um I, I got sort of got more into it when my children left home sort of empty nesting and uh, i do buy dolls do them up and sell them and i buy dolls and keep a lot of them as well <laughs> yeah but I'll often buy a bundle of dolls and only, you know, keep one or two out of it. And, yeah, that's what I, I like to do. So, I don't know. It's just, I never had many as a child. And, um, yeah, I think it's just that, really. I, I couldn't have more now if I tried. I've got, you know, every doll I could imagine I've got. And I've got wonderful dolly friends. I love the community. Um, yeah, I love it all. I just, I'm, I'm absolutely obsessed with dolls. And it doesn't just have to be fashion dolls. I like to have one of every type of doll and my lovely friends have made that possible for me. I've had so much happy mail of so many beautiful dolls. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. So yeah, let's get on with this what's in the box video. And today, these are like my favourite dolls, the ones that I always have on display. But uh, I've currently taken a lot of my dolls off display. I'm going through them and I'm being brutal about which ones I'm going to put back and which ones I'm going to put in storage or donate or whatever. So this, as I say, is one of my favourite, some of my favourites and most of these will be going back. So I've got this girl. She's an AliExpress BJD. She's got the um, articulation in the knees, the shoulders. I love this girl. I've had her for years. She was one of the first ones I got. What's happened here? A bow's come off her head. Yeah, and she came, uh, I think she came dressed in this dress, or if not that, then something very similar. So that's her. She definitely will be going back. Then I've got this girl. I love her. She's a Tang Cow doll. Uh, T-A-N-G-K-O-U and I got her for a fantastic price on eBay I really you know I think I paid something like £30 for her and she was brand new in the box but she had been in the box for a long time and her clothes had got like you know changed colour with the sun and things like that and got a bit faded and that but uh, yeah I was so thrilled to get her so she's She's not a Blythe, she's like a Blythe. She's called a Tang Tang Cow doll. Can't get a headband on straight. Hold on, there we go. I think this is a I'm sure whether this is the one that, I think this is the one that came with her, this headband and dress. But she's got two things on the back of her neck. One goes does this, closes her eyelids and opens them. So you can keep them closed if you want to. Or you can open them. And then there's a button to press. Let me show you. This is a switch that, that keeps her eyes open and sh uh, closed. Like you can lock it into position so that they stay closed. And then there's this button that's the shape of a heart. And if I press that, see, her eyes will change colour. She's got purple, she's got green. And then, yeah, back to the blue, I think. Her blue. Oh, they're not going. They want to stop where they are. Come on. Right, so we'll leave her on the blue. I'll bring her up a bit closer for you. Yeah, Tang Cow it was. She's got her little socks on. She came on her stand, but her stand has broken. I did glue it, but uh, clearly it's not broken. It just doesn't stay in very well is all it is. So she's my little, my little BJD Tang Cow doll. Really pleased with her and she'll definitely be going back on display. Then I've got this girl. She is my Chelsea. One of my daughters, her one of her middle names is Chelsea and she hates it. Uh, but her dad picked it, so yeah, he wouldn't let me call her. Her name's Taryn Chelsea. And I wanted to call her Taryn Alicia or Taryn Laura, and he wouldn't have it. He said, you can have Taryn, but I'm having, I want to call the middle name Chelsea. So that's what we had, Taryn Chelsea. I'm not sure why he liked Chelsea, but he did. So 
yeah we got Taryn Chelsea I was determined I was having Taryn even before I fell pregnant with her if I, I said if I have a baby it's going to be Taryn so this is my little one of my little um Blythe dolls it's one of the first ones I got look at these little shoes they're from AliExpress and this outfit is one that I made for a collaboration with the uh, what we uh, call the dream team that's what um Tammy calls her so that's me Tammy from Peace Craft Dolls with Tammy Powley, Beth from Beth Ramson and of course the lovely Marna from um, Dolls Rescued. So she's got her earrings and she does have some massive ears somewhere but I think uh, Rudy stole them, Rudy's got them somewhere. But yeah that's my Chelsea and here's her beads, she does have the uh, open and close, I don't know if I, whether I gave her some different eyes, I think I did give her different eyes. Yeah I've done her eyelids look. Can't do it now. Has it gone? No. I don't think it's working very well, is it? I'm not having much luck with these doll's eyes today. I'm pretty sure she does have um, customised eyes, though. Now, I'm just getting the same pair every time, so, yeah, we'll have to give up. We're trying to show you them. But, yeah, she has been customised a little bit. You can see that she's got different eyes. And you can see that her eyelids have been painted. They were, that was done with nail varnish. I love these beads. They've got little tiny elephants on the end. I love elephants. I'm a real fan of elephants. Look at that. And this fabric has actually got little bunnies on it. And I made the pattern myself for the jumpsuit. Yeah, I was really pleased with that. And the ears are fabulous. They've got grey fur on them. Anyway, yeah, she's a definite keeper. Then I've got this girl. Yeah, she looks like she needs a good wash. Yeah, she's one of these, I can't remember what you call them now, but she's got a, a fabric face and hands and she's got all like separate fingers. Yeah, she could, her clothing could do with a good wash. What do you call these dolls? Oh, do you know, I'm hopeless at remembering stuff, but yeah, I, I did collect a few of these because I thought they were really pretty. I got two or three of them. Uh, yeah, she's got like a ring, like a hoop under a skirt to hold a skirt out, look. I just thought she was a pretty doll. Yeah, like I say, I've got, got a few of those now. I think she might go into storage, though, along with, uh, I think there's some more like her. Then there's this little one. Then I've got this little Precious Moments girl. I wanted a Precious Moments doll so badly, and I found her and fell in love with her. Look at that little face and the little curls in her hair. She's got a little basket. She's lovely. And I love her little dress. And underneath it, she's got a little leggings on. Look, she's such a cute little doll. I love her so much. Look at her little shoes. Yeah. Right, so let's pop them down there. And then this one was um, a collaboration I did with Marna, where we had to turn our dolls into a, a bride, but using like a bin liner. So I used a bin liner and some washi tape. I put the washi tape round her waist um she's lost a shoe this is going to be a common occurrence i think shoe loss so yeah she has lost one of her shoes it'll be in here somewhere hmm. i put a little bow on her shoe they're like the basic black blithe shoes you get from aliexpress and i just popped a little bow on it and then i made her a, a hairnet out of uh, netting and put a little bit of uh, <coughs> lace around her head for a headdress yeah it was a goth bride was what she was meant to be yeah, that's and she's a Cindy. I may um like undress her and redo her. So then I've got this girl. She is the uh, she is a Biggers doll. I love these Biggers dolls. And the outfit that she's got on was sent to me by my lovely friend Claire. And it's from a different. I'm trying to remember what doll that's from. Oh, I, I, my memory is awful, but yeah, she's a Biggers doll. Uh, and she's, oh yes, it's a Holly Hobby outfit. Yeah, and it was sent to me by the lovely Claire. Isn't it lovely? It fits her really nicely. So yeah, I was pleased with that. She doesn't have any shoes on though. But yeah, she's got really nice hair. She'll be going back up on on the uh, display. I love her little, her little sticky out ears and her cute little eyes. And you can see her teeth. Yeah, she's a really cute doll love her so she can go back on display this one will definitely be going back on display she is a 
um, Brat's, Bratzilla doll and she is Ileana Honesty, back to magic. Um, and she's dressed in this like, um, oh, it's a beautiful outfit. Let me show you. Let me get it up a bit nearer for you. I'm not quite sure what's happening there. Her hat's fell off. I think the elastic's not working. Yeah, I think the elastic's broken on her hat, but it is still hanging on by a thread. So here she is, look, Ileana Honesty. She's a quite a rare one. And uh, yeah, she's one of the few brat sillas that I did keep. So yeah, she'll be going back on display. Then we've got this Monster High. She was a Frankie doll, uh, Monster High Frankie doll. And I made her this little dress and turned her into a Sally. And I put this little wig on. It is glued on hair, I think. I think I glued it on. But it actually went on pretty well, I thought. It does look nice, doesn't it? I'm quite pleased with her. For I'm not very good at customising, but I was pleased with how she came out. I do think she looks like a Sally, so... Yeah, I was pleased with her. She'll be going back on display with her. Of course, she's got her uh, Jack skeleton there that I bought for her. Then we've got this girl. She's like a, she's a little, I'm sure I made that dress for her as well. I think I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. She's a, um, is she a Takara, a little Takara doll? But she's one from AliExpress. So not a, you know, not a genuine one. Yeah, I did make her that little dress. It's got a little, a uh, key on that little charm there yeah it came out quite nicely didn't it here she is look so yeah she'll be going back on display then oh what's this oh <laughs> look at this little teeny tiny um i think she's an lps blythe look i made her a little skirt out of that fabric as well isn't she cute she's sally's little friend look and then this, I got this from one of my friends as well. I, I think Claire sent me this. And it's an out, it's a little um, travel case for a Blythe. And it's got everything in there that she might need if she went and went on a travels. But look how lovely that case is. Isn't it lovely? It does up and everything. It, she, she's made that, I think. And I love it. So let's stick that in there. I think it was, the trouble is I forget who sent me them. I think it was Claire. Yeah, it'll close up and everything. It's lovely that, and I do keep that out on display. Then this girl. This is Cadence. Look at Cadence's hair. You, look at that. If you put her into storage, you'd have to put her in a box on her own because of that massive hair look. But I do love, love, love that hair. She's got her pull string decorated. Um, I've changed her eye chips. You can see that. Oh, and hers will move. Oh, the pink of the are not changed, and the grey and the blue. I just changed those ones, it looks like. I love that colour, though. Yeah, but look at that hair. Isn't it absolutely fantastic? It really is. You can't do anything with it. You can't. It's so wild. But, yeah, we love Cadence. And I made her that dress as well. And these are... Oh... What do you call those dolls? They can be a boy or a girl. Ah, but they, their clothes fit Blythe beautifully and so do their shoes. So we pinch some of their shoes. Can't remember what they're called now. Ah. Then I have this gorgeous vintage Cindy in a ballerina outfit. I did buy the ballerina outfit separately. I think she may have had a haircut. It's a, it's a bit, bit of a mess back there. But I tied it in that bow and I thought she looked quite pretty like that. She's so that's my Cindy. Oh, and look at this girl. I got her from um when I went to York, I got her from Mary Shortles. She's a Lorenz doll from 2021, and I haven't given her a name, but look at her little outfit and her shoes, and look at her little bow in her hair. Isn't she so sweet? So she'll be staying out. Yeah, she's so cute. I love all these different dolls and the different faces and things that you get. Then I've got another, oh, another little precious moments girl look. She's quite different to the other one. It says Grace uh, Rose Arts, 24th of the 3rd, 95. Yeah, that's what it says. So yeah, 95, that's uh, quite a long while ago, isn't it? 20 years ago. 
30 years ago. Crikey, you forget, don't you? 95, 105, 150. Yeah, 30 years ago. Wow. Yeah, she's got... The hair isn't very marvellous, but it's okay. You know, once it's brushed and that, it looks nice. And she's got a sweet little outfit on. So, yeah, that's her. Then I've got another one of these. Are, are they called Takara dolls? This is an outfit that she came dressed in and I really liked it. So I left her in it. Yeah, I think they're called Takara dolls. But yeah, she's got even got little pink earrings in and little panda headband. Yeah, and she's lost her shoe. Typical. These shoes will appear a lot. There's a boot there. So that's her. Oh, and then I've got this girl. She was sent to me by one of my dolly friends. Isn't she beautiful? She's absolutely beautiful. I love her so much. And I think, you know, she's like an AliExpress BJD doll. She's a little bit like my Maya, um, but she looks a bit more grown up with her eyelashes and that. She came, did she come in this little outfit? I think she did. Her hair is lovely, by the way. And she's got the most beautiful, look at that. She looks like a film star with her eyelashes and her red lips, doesn't she? Yeah, she's beautiful and she'll go back on display. She was from, yeah, like I say, from one of my friends. And then we've got this girl, but she is one of my prize possessions, she is. So my lovely friend Dale did, look at the, look at the face up he did on her. Look at that, can you see it? absolutely fantastic and then the hat and the scarf were made by um octopudding sarah over at octopudding yeah so she's a gorgeous gorgeous doll she's all articulated and she's wearing that genuine cindy dress she's called lilith fashion royalty body integrity toy crew face lilith blair that's what it says integrity toys lilith blair head yeah so that's her and she is called lilith and i have she's one of my prized possessions because dale painted her i love i love her i do honestly she's definitely going back on display then we've got this girl she's a little fail fix girl but i just think she's so pretty with all her colorful hair and her little bobbles and that and she's got this cute little kawaii dress on she looks quite kawaii doesn't she She's a cute little doll. Yeah, I love that hair and that and the pom-poms as well. Yeah, I think she might go into storage though because I do have others. Then I've got this little Takara girl. She's one, again, I made the dress for. I got her on AliExpress. Not sure what shoes she's got on, but they weren't hers originally. Yeah, I made her the little dress. Now I'll have to get sewing again, won't I? I covered these buttons with this same um, fabric I put around the bottom there, then gave her lace around the edges. She's got a little bird cage as a charm. Yeah, that's her. Can't remember what shoes they are. Yeah. Oh, there's the little panda that goes with that little Takara doll that came in the panda outfit. It did come with her. Then I've got these Cindy dolls. I love these. These are definitely going back on display. And I keep them in the box because I do have versions of them out of the box as well. So there's her, there's Beach Party Cindy. There is, uh, oh, I've got boots and all sorts here. I'll have to have a look and see who they belong to. There's another boot here. These are made by Karen as well. Then there's these little shoes. I don't know who they've come off. They've come off of somebody. Oh, God. <clears throat> um yeah these boots i keep them on display you know because they were made by my friend karen look at these aren't they beautiful she's she's handmade these i absolutely love them look at this the bits around the the chain around the thing all the detail is just so nice look at the soles as well and i keep them up on display with my dolls and then there's these boots as well that i feel might have fallen off somebody um, but they were made by Karen as well, look. Little soles on them. She's so clever, Karen is. She really is so clever at making things. She gave me loads of um, bits and pieces for my doll's furniture and things. And uh, Rosie took them all home. <laughs> Rosie took them all home with her. When I started sorting out and moving things about, you know, um, a while ago, Rosie took them home with her. Yeah, she liked them. <laughs> so she took them home. Right, and then I've got, I, I don't know why, but I love, love, love these airline Cindy's. I, I don't know what it is. I just love them. 
she just looks so perfect to me. If I'd have got one of those as a child, I'd have been absolutely delighted. I really would. I'd have been absolutely delighted with that. And then this is another one of the airline Cindy. She's, oh no, cabin crew uniform, it says. Cindy Classic cabin crew uniform, BOAC, 1960s. Look at her. Isn't she gorgeous? But I have her in box and outer box and I do the other one, which is why I keep them in box. And then in the bottom of here, I've just got a few bits and pieces that go with other dolls. Somebody's lost a shoe there. Somebody's lost their glasses. There's a little poopsy thing there. There's a tiny little half of a tiny stand there. Yeah, this is, I won this in a, in a collaboration with Beth, Tammy, Marna, with Beth, Tammy and Marna. And we did a red carpet, um, a red carpet doll dress and i i won and i got sent this lot isn't it amazing yeah i was so thrilled and that is one of my prized possessions as well so yeah that was my um so that was my video for today i hope you enjoyed that thank you for watching bye for now